All right, the next thing we're going to do is do a typical layout for a fastener plane. As you recall from Blueprint, the X or cross is a fastener. In this case, they are BJ3 near side. A couple of important things to note on here. TYP, remember, is typical. That means we are 0 0.40 from the edge of the plate to this row of fasteners. The entire row will be 0 0.40. Same way going down, we're 0 0.40 from this side of the plate to the center of the fastener. The entire row will be 0 0.40. The next important symbol we see here is the S with the line through it. That means equal spaces. So we will have nine equal spaces <coughs> between these two corners. Now then, for our drawing, we can see that we have four equal spaces here, and we have a point four typical here. When we do a layout, our first step is going to be to get the point four typicals. So I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to put the one inch mark on my paper. Just watch what I'm doing. Put the one inch mark on the paper. I'm going to line up the top and the bottom so that way I'm sure I'm straight. And I'm going to put a mark at 0 0.40. Now I am going to go to the bottom of the paper without turning my scale because it will be more accurate. Line it up this way 0 0.40. I'm then going to turn my paper and put 0 0.40 on this side. Turn my paper again, lining up precisely on the same line, 0 0.40, moving it up without turning the scale or paper. 0 0.40, and then we'll do the last side. Point 0.40, Point 0.40. It is worth noting that this point 0.40 typical here, you cannot measure off this line. Remember, never scale a blueprint. All right, once I've got that completed, I'm going to play connect the dots. sides. This completes step one. Step one is locate all four corner, corners. Remember, typical. Step one, locate all four corners. TYP, typical. Okay. Once I have located my four corners, I am going to measure between the lines. I'm going to lay the scale on this line on the one inch, and it reads 4.36. But remember, I'm burning an inch, so it's actually 3.46. I'm going to record that in the box. I will turn my paper and do the next way. Lining up carefully, I have 8.95, so my measurement is actually going to be 7.95. Step two. Measure between the corners, record <coughs> in the appropriate box. Measure between the corners, record in the appropriate box. 